Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Got a really cool light to show you folks today and with me being a flashaholic, this fits right in with my collection, but this is the Trustfire Mini X3. And this guy is one of the, the flat style flashlights that I've grown to really, really like. But this is a really good, small little EDC light. It's not crazy bright. It's 1,050 lumens on turbo. So it's not gonna throw 500 yards down the field, but it fits in your pocket just perfect. And it's 55 bucks, 69.99 on Amazon, but there's always a 20% off coupon code on Amazon. So, you know, around 55 bucks. Slide it out of the box, directions. And there she is right there. Just a really slick little light. So for size comparison, with this being one of these flat style flashlights, I have my tried and true uh, Olight Arcfeld Pro. And you can see here the size difference between the Arcfeld. And then I've got my Nightcore EDC 25, which is another flat style flashlight. So a very, very small compact little flat flashlight. But let me get these out of the way here. So like I said, again, let me get you an up close while I kind of talk to you about it. And what you'll see here, they've got two different versions of this light. You can see the two LEDs up, up front. This one has the 900 milliwatt UV light. So it's, it's fairly powerful. It's not as powerful as the Arcfield Pro's UV light, but it still will uh, detect counterfeit bills or any kind of stains that you might want to see. <laughs> We're not going to get into that, but these actually, the UV lights really are pretty useful. Um, they do have these models with a red light. And to be honest, I kind of probably would have preferred this one to have the red light because I use that more camping for, for night vision, but it's still pretty cool to have the UV light. But you do have the, the, the standard LED bulb here that's going to give you the 1050 lumens on turbo, and then you've got the UV light. This also has a green laser. And we'll get into kind of showing you all the functions of that. But that's why I have the, the Olight Arcfeld Pro because this has the UV light, the green laser, and the white light, just like this one. This is just a smaller form factor. It's got a USB type C charging on the side here. It's got a 1500 milliamp hour battery. And we'll get into some of the run times and all the boring specs here really, really soon, but just know USB type C. It's IPX6 water resistant or waterproof. IPX6 rating means that this can survive high pressure water jets being sprayed on it from any angle. It does not mean that it's submersible, so you cannot dunk this thing in water, but it can easily survive a rainstorm or a thunderstorm, or if it's left out on a table when it rains, you're gonna be perfectly fine. Just don't go swimming with this in your pocket because it will not be fine. And the other kind of unique feature that this light has that, that neither one of my night cores or my Olight have is this thing on the back, which is a floodlight. This is a 4,000 Kelvin floodlight that is going to obviously be in a flood, going to provide more spread of light than this front throw LED will provide. So it's actually got four different things on this flashlight to use, unlike the Arcfeld, which only has three. It's got a dual sided pocket clip, so you can either put this in your pocket, which is deep carry. That thing goes all the way up to the base, or you can put this on the brim of your hat if you want and kind of use it as a, you know, as a, as a headlamp. It's got a magnetic base and don't ask why I have a hatchet laying around in my, in my shop, but you can see here it easily supports its own weight. No issue. Perfectly fine. Weighs six ounces, just a small little flashlight, smaller than the palm, smaller than my hand. So easily concealable, doesn't take up hardly any room in your pocket or in a backpack. And again, 55 bucks, really cool deal. This comes in several different colors. This is the, it's kind of the gray color, but it's almost got like a bronze hue to it. That might be kind of hard to tell on screen, but it's got, you can get this in like OD green, gold, this color, black. And I just thought this color looked, looked the coolest. So let's go over some of the features of this light and then we'll just get straight into the night shots. You can lock this light. So if you, you get up here to the front and you double click this main button, it's going to give you two little flashes. That means that this light is now locked. If you go press it, it's just going to blink twice, kind of letting you know that it's locked. So you're not going to be able to access any of the features of this light. Double click again, and it's going to go directly to that LED light. So once you have it off a of lock mode, if you go over here to the side switch, it's got three different settings. You've got your laser setting, you've got your standard LED light, and then you've got your UV light or red light, depending on which model you want. So with the side switch pushed all the way up, that's green laser mode. So to get to that green laser, if this camera's gonna pick it up, you just press and hold this main button here, 
and you can see you've got the green laser. Now it's really hard to show you a green laser um, and, and how bright it is, but I don't know if you can see it back there on my control panel, but pretty bright. I mean, this will get down the street at night very easily. To cut it off, just press and hold. And the green laser is now off. To get to the main light, just slide this switch to the middle and same thing. There is your light. So once you have this thing on, you can toggle all of the main settings. So let's get to the low setting. And the low setting, this thing has three and a half lumens. And that's going to give you around 150 hours of runtime off of the low setting. If you press it again, that's going to go to your middle setting. This medium setting is going to give you 55 lumens or 15 hours of runtime. If you press it again, this is going to be your high setting. And this is going to give you 215 lumens for four hours. If you press it again, that's going to be your turbo mode. This is going to be your 1050 lumens. And this is going to give you around two hours worth of runtime on a full battery. So to access the UV light on this thing, you put the side switch again into the middle setting and you press and hold. So you'll see it kind of switch over from the main LED to the UV light if you just press and hold. There we go. So now we got the UV light and it's not going to do any good to show you this UV light here in the daylight. I'll show it to you at night. But that's how you get to the UV light. It was a little bit confusing, so I had to read the, uh, read the directions to figure out how to get to it, but that's how you do it. You just simply press and hold for longer once it gets to that LED, then it switches over to the UV light. And speaking of battery, when you press this, you can see that that, that button uh, flashes a green light. So this does have a battery indicator too. It's got four different battery indicators. So when this light is green, it's gonna mean you either have 80 or to 100% battery. If it is yellow, you're gonna have 20 to 80% battery. That's kind of of a big range. I don't really like that, but it's, I guess it's better than nothing. And again, it's 55 bucks. If this light is red, you're gonna have five to 20% of your battery remaining. Or if it is flashing red, get it on the charger because you have zero to 5% of the battery remaining on this light. And this light's got a three year warranty, which is really pretty darn good for a, what I'm gonna call a budget light. Now, the last feature of this light is you push this side switch all the way down, you press and hold, and it's gonna turn on your floodlight. This is a much warmer light. This is a 4,000 Kelvin uh, temperature setting compared to the, I believe, 5,700 Kelvin of the front light. So this is gonna be a very warm, very wide kind of throw for your spotlight. Just a really, really useful little setting. And we're gonna cut this thing off. And that's pretty much all the modes on this. Really simple, really easy user interface on this light. Um, it does have memory. So if you go in here to the main light, and if I put it to the, to the middle setting and I cut it off and I go back to cut it back on, it's gonna go right back to the medium lumen setting. So it does have memory. So just a fun, easy to carry, very small, very compact, three-year warranty, just a pretty nice little light for 55 bucks. And I think it looks good and it fits in your pocket. Just, just great, honestly. Um, it does come with a type USB-C to USB-A charging cord. So let's take this light uh, out tonight when it gets a little bit darker and I'll go through all the modes of the lights so you can kind of see the output and the kind of throw pattern that this thing offers and to see if it's something for you. All right, so here we have absolute lowest setting, medium, high. Bugs are crazy out here this weekend. And then this is gonna be your 1,050 lumens. So you're just a nice kind of, not a spotlight, nice little flood pattern. And then this is gonna be the back of your light. I can get my hand out of the way. We can go down different settings on this one too, and you can see the the, the warmness of this of this backlight again is around 4,000 K instead of that 5,700 K on the front LED. One more time in turbo. There we go. And before the bugs <laughs> go down my throat again, I'm gonna get one more shot here. Oh, plenty of power. No problem at all on that. That thousand lumens is plenty for around camp. But anyway, guys, there you have it. This is the Trustfire Mini X3. And as usual, I'll put the link down in the description. So thanks for watching, gang. We'll see you soon.